Jack used on the Mac before I tried. Thank you. Um, Who are you? Uh, Carrie Kelly. She's one of the Robins, but she's only in like a few rounds. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. He's, he's, you made that? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you're in an action with yeah. Hodges in season one. It was just classic. It seemed like you were, yeah. He was like the old dog, and you were like the, the, the little, new, puppy. little puppy. Yeah. You know, who got on his nerve, but he loved being around you. Yeah. 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 Talk about, can you talk about the dynamic going into Try season two on our best yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, he's kind of created, a, he creates a space for her to be herself and kind of step into being. A, a more complete version of herself um, and makes her feel safe in that. From the very beginning, which was so special even to read on the page, I was like, this is a really unique dynamic and also one that I feel like everyone should have. Everyone should have someone that lets them be completely themselves and pushes them to grow and you see that evolve even more in the second season. You see how their relationship shifts because she does come into her own and she gains a confidence that she didn't have before. And so you see how their dynamic changes as uh, as the season goes on. And I, every step of it, I loved. And uh, reading it, I was like really pleased by the way that they kind of. Um, play off of each other and grow with each other and push each other into being better versions of themselves. And I just want to add, yeah. marvelous acting skills. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. That makes me happy because this character is so awesome. Like, she's just a treat of a person to play. So when I read the book, I was like, simultaneously incredibly excited and also like very nervous because she's so beloved that I was like I hope I can do this you know so that means a lot thank you do you stay on that path so does some of her confidence come from the part she played in confronting Brady and stopping him in the finale no I don't think so I mean I think that the confidence starts the minute that honestly Hodges in that moment on the bench in the in the first episode that she's in where he moves to the other side of the bench to accommodate something that people would have thought was weird or um, like strange or that she was some kind of like freak he is like no you're cool <laughs> you know like I'm there with you we're here together it's okay and I feel like when people are given permission to be themselves, they inherently have more confidence because they see that they're okay, you know? And so I feel like that's where her, her, her growth comes from that. And also Jerome, Jerome is also really wonderful. Just like a, a immediately embraces her and also like believes in her brain and trusts her to be able to problem solve. And those are really powerful acts. And I think that that's where it all started. But that was the catalyst. And I, I think that the hitting him on the head with the thing was more of a necessity than it was um, something that necessarily made her like I don't think that was the thing that made her how does this going to be very obsessive trying to deal with getting yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At least two people who are very interested in keeping Brady around. Mm -hmm. yeah, she can play a part in trying to 
help Hodges do this? Let's go to that you guys like that. Are you trying to calm him down for later? Or where did she come into this dynamic with Brady and the three men stroke, you know, fighting over his life, I guess? Yeah, I think that she's going to, and you'll see, first of all. It gets, like, it's not so clean cut, but I, I think she wants to, A, she loves Hodges, and she wants him to be happy and okay and mentally sound. So this whole thing with Brady is kind of weird, and you'll see. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Like, no one, it's, it's hard to say what is going on. So I think that there's moments of her trying to negotiate his well-being and their business's well-being, and also trusting him and um, wanting to assist him in whatever he needs to do. And you kind of see that play out in the second season. And all of that stuff, you know, it's, you know, I'm not on any social media. Like, uh, I'm not on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, so I don't know. What about Mr. He 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 really likes her. So that makes me really happy. He's given really. He said nice things. And he, I know I I have had friends send me tweets that he's done about Holly in particular um, that make me really happy and make me feel like okay phew, at least he's not like let's pull the plug on that girl <laughs> get her off um, but in terms of the fan reaction I'm actually like happy to be here because I kind of isolate myself from and not because it's not I'm not appreciative or loving towards the fans but just because the internet and I mean, I'm kind of like, there's parts of me that resonate, like, that connect to Holly and her, like, I've been through some bullying, so I, there's, I'm like, I'd rather not be part, privy to that part of it, but I am excited to be here because I do love that there are people watching our show and hope that it has had, like, especially Holly in particular, because I play her, I, I hope that people, um, have been able to relate to her and hopefully maybe be inspired or, or feel like there's like a voice, you know, there are people with autism and who are on the spectrum and to have, and, and I feel like Holly is representative of how awesome those people can be and are. And so I hope that there are people that found like a voice in her. And there was just a little interaction with you and Hodges that yeah, they really resonated with the fans. And there was one time you guys were in the truck driving, on the car driving. Yeah. And it was yeah. lunchtime. <laughs> you got your sandwich. This is what I mean. That's what I mean. I don't think you wanted to eat or not, but he says, get in there. Yeah. You got your sandwich and eat. Little clips like that really just kind of, it's like real life for all of us. Yeah. Just the way that it's produced and the way you guys come out with each other. I think it's fantastic. Was that spontaneous or was something that you guys... I think it's a, a mix, you know, like some of it feels spontaneous and the writing is there, like the writing supports everything, but also Brendan and I have like a really wonderful rapport who plays Hodges, um, and I immediately, that was the first scene we ever shot, was the sandwich scene, so I'd never met him before that scene, um, and I immediately felt just safe with him. He is that, like he provides that warmth that Hodges provides Holly in real life um, and so I would say it was like a weird kind of magical mix of like the the dialogue being there and the story being there and also just us having a, a really a, a chemistry I love him so much so yeah. I actually use that saying now. Yeah, what's that? I actually use that saying now. Which one? Uh, and get in there, that saying. Oh, do you? I mean, it's a sweet way of yeah. kind of like showing also their just their whole relationship. He's like, just get in there. Yeah. You know, life wise. Like, it's kind of like, I know that sounds a little dorky, but there is something about he's like, go, go, girl. Like, be yourself. Like, and she takes his lead. And it's really like, I mean, even talking about, I'm just moved by it. I love that. And I, I wish that for everyone. I want to 
want everyone. I just want just that Mr. Rogers documentary. Oh God! And when he says like, "I love you just as you are," <laughs> even now I'm like, it's so touching to me. Like, it's so important that we give each other. So seeing it, in this, <laughs> so seeing it in this, and, and being able to be a part of that in the show has been really like, special for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.